Hello, Father Daniel here. I am a priest with the Mercedarian Order, Mercedarian Friars USA. I'm presently located in uh, St. Augustine, Florida, so Augustine, Florida, at the Shrine of Our Lady of Leche. You can see the beautiful chapel in the background. Uh, this is um, reported to be the uh, place where the first Mass was celebrated in what as we now know is the United States of America. So if you get a chance, highly recommended uh, for you to come out and visit this beautiful, uh, important site here in uh, Northeast Florida. Uh, take care, God bless you, and we'll see you again on the next Journey Around with Father Daniel. Nombre de Dios Mission. This site has been called America's Most Sacred Acre. Tradition holds that the first Mass in the new colony was celebrated here. By 1615, a chapel was erected to house the Shrine of Our Lady of La Leche. A mission church large enough to serve 200 souls was located between the chapel and the present gift shop. Tumacuan Indians were singing Sunday Mass in Latin by the 17th century. The rustic altar Further along to your right has served pilgrimages, weddings, anniversary celebrations, and even ordinations to the priesthood. The founders of the Sisters of St. Joseph of St. Augustine are buried here. Six federal officers were interred during and after the Civil War. Burials here were only occasional until the closing years of the 19th century, and most graves are those of parishioners who died between the years 1880 and 1900. Hello, Father Daniel with the Mercedarian Friars in the USA, and I'm here at the Shrine Museum, Museum, Museum Nombre de Dios, de Dios. and uh, we're going to be getting some information and a little tour about uh, this place. And so we have uh, my good friend who is uh, Margo. Margo. My name is Margo. And to tell us some more about right. this place. This building was um, was was inaugurated in September of 2010. It was always the dream of Archbishop Hurley. Archbishop Hurley was an outstanding bishop for the um, state of Florida. He had the huge big cross built in 1565 on the occasion of the 400th anniversary of the foundation of this city, the oldest in the US. I will tell you more about it in a second. He also had the church behind us, Prince of Peace, built at that time. That church now has been remodeled, enlarged, and renamed Our Lady of La Leche. Uh -huh. Both of those two projects were celebrating the 400th anniversary of the foundation of this city. He didn't have enough money to build the museum after those two huge projects, so that had to wait until 2010. In the museum, as you follow me, please, you will see the original empty coffin of the founder of the city of San Agustin. Mm -hmm. Here is Pedro Menendez. Pedro Menendez de Avilés was the founder of the city of San Agustin. But going back in history, the history of this country begins in 1513, when Juan Ponce de Leon came looking for the fountain of youth and claimed this land for Spain. He did not establish himself here, he just claimed this land for Spain. He named it Florida, one of the reasons for that name was because he came during the Easter week. Easter week in Spanish is Pascua Florida de Resurrección. The Florida at that time, that, the land that he named Florida at that time, extended beyond what it is today, the state of Florida. It went up north and west. For many years, different Spanish explorers tried to settle down on this land, but their little settlements didn't last. 
Apparently, it was very difficult to sustain life under the conditions that existed more than 500 years ago. However, it was important for Spain to defend this land for many reasons. One of them was the French Huguenots, the year prior to this uh, city being founded, had opened a fort, Fort Carolina, north of here in what is today Jacksonville, but it, there was nothing in there. There was just nothing. At the mouth of the River St. John, the French Huguenots, fleeing from France, had established themselves there and were uh, threatening with taking over this land that was globally uh, claimed by Spain, but it was not being defended. So when the King of Spain, Philip II, uh, sent Pedro Menéndez de Avilés, Pedro had three goals in mind. Establish a permanent settlement, and he did. The city of San Agustin is today the oldest continuous European settlement in the US or Canada. Goal number two, get, face the, get rid of the threat of the French Huguenots. And that also happened. If you want details on this, I can go ahead and say it. If not, I'll skip to the next goal. So I'll tell you about the next goal. Evangelization. He wanted to show, to teach the Indians about Jesus. There were many kinds of Spanish explorers. Some of them were motivated by riches. They wanted to find gold. His motivation was not that. He was a truly very devout Catholic, and he really wanted to, to from his heart, to teach, spread the word of Jesus to this um, area. In fact, uh, if you see that way, uh, you will, uh, the statue that you see in that direction is that of Pius V, which was the Pope at the time of Pedro. And the Pope wrote Pedro a letter, excerpts of which are there, telling Pedro, advising him to be kind to the Indians, to avoid any scandals that in the past has given us bad name, and Pedro's response, which is also underneath, um, states that his desire is to um, evangelize. He, he's trying to do his best, and he will try that. Um, he, the, the, the king, was very impressed with the results he had gotten from Pedro. So he wanted to put him in another, at the head of another important assignment. When Pedro left the shores of San Agustin, he was in good, relatively good health. However, during the journey back to Spain, he contracted typhoid fever. And upon arrival in Spain, instead of being able to assume a new position, he was dying. He died in Spain, and therefore this coffin was built in Spain, and that's the original empty coffin of him. Yeah. It is in good shape, in terrific good shape, because it was never placed on the ground. They kept it above ground in the church of his hometown, Aviles, Asturias. 350 years after his death, they removed his remains from here and placed them, as you can see, in the side altar of the church of his hometown. And the empty coffin was given by the city of Aviles to the city of San Agustin as a gesture of friendship. We are very lucky to have such a valuable piece of history. There is one and only original coffin of the founder of this city, and we have it. 
I believe that later they were sorry they gave it to us, but it was a little bit too late. <laughs> <laughs> the works that are written on the coffin are gold, and they are in Spanish. Even if you read Spanish, they are a little bit difficult to read because the letters are superimposed. But the exact translation is right here on this podium. So what it says in that coffin, you can read right here. By an Episcopal priest of all people, and it is like eight years old. It shows the chaplain of the fleet, Father Francisco Lopez, offering a mass of thanksgiving upon arrival on this site. Pedro Menendez, supposedly the leader of the group, is holding is the one holding the flag. The Indians, local Indians of the tribe Timuqua were friendly and pacific. And that was a plus for the success of this uh, of their own, uh, goal. They offered the uh, Spaniards their facilities. But anyway, when the mass of Thanksgiving was completed, the Spaniards and the Indians shared a meal, which theoretically is considered to be the very, very first Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And that happened September 8, 1565. Ooh. I think I, so I, I love it. can't take credit for it anymore. Huh? <laughs> but you said Massachusetts, isn't that was that the first supposed to be the first one? I, I had the same question from a group of people that yeah. came from Massachusetts and I say theoretically the act of Thanksgiving and sharing of the meals with the local yeah. Indians was first here. But you people have to be given credit for spreading the tradition. <laughs> but it happened later. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. it happened here first, but they But they take credit. <laughs> they they kind of spread the tradition. Mm -hmm. So they they could give, be given some credit for spreading it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um there are many other interesting things, for example Do you know what la leche means? Milk. Milk. And it shows Mary nursing baby Jesus. The first shrine, the first Marian shrine, was right here, and you can see that there is, um, among the trees back there, a little roof where, uh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, I can see it from here. Over the bridge, you can see a little roof there. You can't go over the bridge anymore, huh? Okay. That's the site of the original chapel to Mary under the denomination of Our Lady of the Nation. That was a popular. You can you walk over there? Yes, you, you can. can. Yes. It was a popular yeah. devotion to Mary in the 1600s. And uh, Today is becoming a very popular place for people that want to have children and they haven't been able to conceive. The women that cannot conceive a child, many of them being trying for a baby for say some of them 15 years, some of them maybe less time but going through um, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, Fertility. Uh, you know, um, conceiving. Yeah, they they insert the uh, you know uh, I forgot now what it's called. Well, uh, no results. They yeah. come here as the last resource. Okay. Please, dear lady, please, we want a family. Give us a child, mm -hmm. and they come back with a baby. It's amazing. In vitro fertilization that, was what a, I was yeah. thinking of. Okay. Yeah. In vitro fertilization, they have gone through that. They haven't obtained any results. They are desperate. They come here. Mm. 
they come back with a baby to give thanks. And the number of people that have had this experience is huge. We have testimonies of women that have had the results they expected. So it's becoming a very in, in mm -hmm. tremendously popular place. What this is what the little chapel looks like yes, now. I know, I've been to it. It's lovely, I love it. And it is the fourth yeah. in that location. It's lovely, yeah. There were three prior ones on the same place mm -hmm. that were destroyed by either weather or war. Yeah. Stones of one of the prior ones mm -hmm. are here on this display, and that's Coquina. Coquina, Coquina yeah. As you know, Coquina is a very exclusive type of rock. <laughs> very um, exclusive of this area. It's made out of shells yes. that have been under a lot of pressure. Coquina is so special that the, the fortress downtown, Castillo San Marcos, is made out of this. Yes, yeah. And what is so strange about it is that bullets do not go through. They are absorbed in here. So the fortress downtown can never be taken by artillery. My daughter has two sides of her house with coquina on it. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. That is so special. Yeah. You know, the church that I attend here, yeah. San Sebastian, yeah. on the main altar, there is a huge crucifix, uh -huh. and the, the, the wall on the main altar is coquina. Oh, right. It tells there what coquina is like. Mm. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's so special. We're lucky to have that type of rock here. It's, it's not, yeah, we can't build all the houses of it. <laughs> that is no, so, right, so special. That's what they built some of the Well, anyway, houses one of the prior, um, prior um, chapels was built with these rocks. Mm. In 1687, St. Augustine governor, Hita E. Salazar, was the head of the confraternity, a lay religious organization devoted to good works at Nombre de Dios, and he built a stone and masonry church in which to house the image. The church was burned in 1702 by the Indi English and Indian forces of South Carolina Colonel James Moore, who laid unsuccessful siege to St. Augustine in that year. The church of La Leche was rebuilt again of stone. The end came for the Nombre de Dios Stone Church in 1728 at the hands of Colonel James Palmer, another British raider who attacked St. Augustine with a force of Yamasi and English soldiers and ravaged the church and settlement at Nombre de Dios before retreating. After the Palmer raid, the governor of St. Augustine commanded that the church and buildings at Nombre de Dios be dismantled. We are in the Museum of La Leche in St. Augustine, Florida. Worth a visit, folks. If you're in Florida, don't miss out. I think we're hearing some of the native languages being spoken. Cool. Let's learn the Lord's Prayer in the Native American language. Enka itamile, Numa, Hibontema, Bisa mile neba, Abakwa no leta habema, Balunu nane mima, noho boni habe, Mine mani take, Numama isota, Moni makwi kakwa utimate, Nakwimo habe, Equila reke bono, Heno nika equilete, noho boni habe, Nina ehebo tema, Natek winike, Nimani si boni habe, Hekate, nak wimo sima, nina ehesi botema, nate winike, manista nikala, kume, hio nino mate, nini boha mante, nihabi, bitikwa, nini habe, akunate, isti kolete, ine mikwa, ni balubo, nihabe.
in recognition of its historical significance, the statue of Father Francisco Lopez de Mendoza Grajales has been officially listed in the National Register of Historic Places June 5, 2012 by the National Park Service Department of the Interior, Washington, D.C. Father Francisco Lopez de Mendoza Grajales, a diocesan priest from Jerez de Frontera in Spain, served as chaplain under the command of Pedro Menendez de Aviles, expedition to La Florida in 1565 for King Philip II of Spain. On September 8, 1565, Father Lopez held the cross as Menendez proclaimed this land in the name of God, Nombre de Dios. Father Lopez celebrated the first Catholic parish mass, provided counsel to Menendez, and is considered the first pastor of the United States. Mission Nombre de Dios In this vicinity, on September 8, 1565, having arrived with Pedro Menendez de Aviles and Spanish citizens, Father Francisco Lopez de Mendoza Rajales led the first parish mass in what is now the United States of America at a makeshift rustic altar father lopez offered mass in honor of the nativity of the blessed virgin mary its feast day of the same day following the liturgy the spaniards and the Temuqua indians shared a meal the spanish named this site nombre de dios or name of god <laughs> <laughs>